Gdush. And that ball is well hit to deep right center field. That one is gone, but not forgotten. I think if you ask any baseball fan when it comes to great announcers, they're going to mention Ernie Harwell, Jack Buck, Vin Scully. But if you ask broadcasters, they're probably going to a man say Jim Brockmeyer. You cannot fill out a top five without mentioning Brockmeyer. Jim Brockmeyer, hands down, best ever. Oh, you can stick me in some kind of Italian boat because that one is gondola. We hear about people being old school. Jimmy was old school. He always wore that same plaid jacket, always had that same red tie. Fresh cut flower in the lapel. Take me out to the ball game at the top of his lungs. I mean, Brockmire's style was ahead of its time. All that stuff we did back on the day in Sports Center, throwing in cultural references, catchphrases from movies. I mean, we were ripping Brockmire off left and right. Nifty grab, fires over to second, and you complete me. And that misses for ball four, and Robinson says, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. He loved the Godfather. Two, three references a game. Here comes the 0-2. And, oh, Michael Corleone says hello. So, folks, two outs, bottom of the fourth. Barzini's a pimp, could never have outfought Santino. That one could be trouble. Spine giving chase, so is Young. And oh, look how they massacred my boy. Some of the references were so out there. Oh, man, the way Vasquez is going, Mama better make some more of that moist cake. Oh, Wilmer Valderrama, that must have hurt. It's like, what the hell is he talking about? What I remember most, though, is his, uh, his classic sign-off to his wife at the end of every game. Little popper to the left side, Newman settles under it, and Lucy puts supper on the stove, my dear, because this ball game is over. The guy truly loved his wife. That's what makes what happened such a shame. So there are a lot of different versions of this story that have gone around in circles. He was going to the ballpark and then realized he had forgotten his lucky scorekeeper's pen. And so he turned his car around, went back home. He opens the door and there's Lucy on the kitchen floor with another guy. And there's just these indelible moments in sports. Uh, Kobe getting 81 against Toronto, uh, the OJ Bronco chase. And without a doubt, Jim Brockmeyer's cheating wife came. So Morales having himself a great season, wouldn't be at all surprised if my wife had her lips wrapped around his Johnson at some point. Oh, that one's way back. I can't see the ball. It's either out of here or lost inside my wife's big, fat, cheating vagina. It was sad. So we'll go to the top half with a f***ing whore. F*** you, bitch. Now, why don't you calm down, Steve? You didn't just see some guy's balls disappear inside your wife. Good Lord. Plain and simple. Jimmy Brockmeyer had a breakdown on the air. Come on, join in. Take your cock out of my wife's So Brockmeyer got fired, obviously. He was gone. There's no coming back from that. But he's an announcer, and that's what they do. They announce. And that's what Jimmy did. Nothing doing here at the park. Still nothing. Hey, that just hit me. That's a kind of cheesy, beefy feel to it. Reminds me, this poop is brought to you by Antonio's Pizzeria. Still nothing. Brackmeyer, one of the few back-to-front wipers in the league. Very, very unconventional. Okay, dabbing at it. First likes to dab at it. Still nothing. Because nobody is here. Nobody but Jim Brockmeyer. That ball is well hit. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mr. Baseball. Mr. Baseball who? Mr. Baseball went and got himself out of here. <laughs>